gave a ball for large parts of that contest, but the wind had a crucial role to play. Yeah, the wind, we, we kind of played against it the first half, hoping we'd have it in the second half, but we seemed to come back on it a little bit. But um, as you said, a tough game. It was always going to be a um, tough game. It's rather a brilliant side, but just looking at the goals they scored. We're not conceding uh, too many this year either, so I think we definitely edged the first half. I think they started well in the second. But um, I think we might as well shade it, but a draw isn't, isn't the worst result. No, it definitely isn't, especially in tight contest. just important not to lose and give the opposition momentum in, in terms of points on the table. And lots of big games coming up. Mention with Dara, if you see and Bray now, it's the two big games there. So in the next two games, we'll get a, a better idea of where Longford Town will be in terms of winning the title. Absolutely. Um, you look, there's only seven games left in this short season. So every game is a big game. It doesn't matter who you're playing. There's all very good teams in the whole league on their day. Um, so we're just, we're just taking one game at a time. Tonight's done now, so we focus on working hard this week to play Ray now on Friday. Now, the last time Longford played Drogheda at the start of the season, a 1-0 win, and you made some brilliant saves throughout the contest to, to earn Longford Town, help Longford Town to three points. You weren't as busy this evening, even though Drogheda had, had more of the play in the second half. Yeah, I think I only had one or two shots to save, maybe. Um, obviously, I'm really the only thing about the goal my went through my legs, but... Then bombarded us with a lot of crosses, so I was happy enough to claim a few. Um, I'm just, I'm just there to mop up anything I can. So it's good the system we're playing. We're not giving away as many chances as we were when we come back in the restart. So it's positive enough. And of course, they're always very dangerous from set pieces, especially from those J. Kyle and three kicks. Yeah, J. Kyle and scored a beautiful free kick the other night. And you could see good quality crosses from corners and free kicks today. So thankfully, we could come and claim a few and, and relieve the lads a bit of pressure. Mate, thanks. Thanks, Tommy.